Morning guys, welcome back to another one. Something a little different going on today. We got ourselves, let me put my stuff away here. We got ourselves a crawfish trap. And we're gonna see if there's crawfish in these ditches out here. I happen to have a old tuna fish sandwich. Let's see if they happen to like the tuna fish. This stuff's probably about a week old. I'm gonna throw it off the bridge. All right, I'm gonna let that soak for a few hours. We're gonna come back and see what we got. All right, guys, while that trap is soaking, we're gonna see if the bass have made their way into the ditches yet. I don't have my traditional spinner bait, but we'll see how it goes. All I got is a 3 8 ounce white jig for the fluke. Well, in some of the past videos, they've been all hanging underneath this bridge. There we go. He's not a big one, but just like last year, under the bridge. Ditch fishing. I told you, these ditches are loaded with bass. This is small. There's a lot bigger ones than that in here. Ditch fishing.
I love fishing in the ditch. Both the same size. I'm really surprised I'm catching anything. It's hot. It's midday. And that's three. That's going to do it for here. We got three. We're going to head down to where I got the trap set. Check the trap and see if we got any bass under that bridge down there. Folks, do not underestimate small bodies of water, small ditches. A lot of them are holding fish. Let's go check the trap. Now, it's only been soaking for a couple hours, so we'll just have a quick look. Put it back in the water if there's nothing in it. We got nothing. Zero. That's all right. We'll throw it back out. We'll check it later on. It's only been a short period of time. In the meantime, we're going to see if this bridge is holding bass. I put it on the barbecue because we had a, a barbecue the other day, so I just threw it on there. That's a little better. No. That's why I don't tell anybody where I'm at. It's all like that side. All right, well, that totals five. Five and two spots. So, uh, gentlemen, I just stopped by. That's the farmer that owns this property. You guys heard me talk about him before. Uh, he's gone to get me some more corn. Don't get much nicer than that. Anyway, that's all I got time for for fishing. So the trap, we got skunked. Still had some bait in it, so I threw it back in. We'll let it soak for a while, and then I'll bring Ella back. It hasn't been that long anyways. It's only been a couple of hours. I love ditch fishing. Nobody fishes ditches, which just baffles me as to why. But nobody fishes ditches. As you see, I got five fish, all a pound or less. Not a big deal. But still, there's some big ones in here. Anyway, I got to get moving. All right, guys, check number two. I don't have a whole lot of faith in this check either, but uh, we're going to pull the trap, see if there's anything in it. If not, we're going to change the bait and move somewhere else. nothing all right we are going to make a move and change the bait two things were wrong with that spot there one the water's moving too fast and two who wants an old tuna fish sandwich that thing had been sitting in my fridge for a week we've upped the game just a little bit here stand by i've got premium dog food and i mean premium dog food this stuff is $100 a bag. That's what I feed my guys at home. So I'm gonna switch over, I'm gonna put the dog food in here. We've changed spots. The water's not moving as much here. Hopefully this will work. Hang on.
that water's not moving at all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to throw the trap underneath that bridge, tie it off up here. Now the key to tying it off is you don't want somebody to see the string because we got some thieves around here who once they see that string, they're gonna pull it up and they're gonna steal your trap. So I'm gonna get it tied off and I'm gonna get it set. Actually, I'm gonna get it set and I'm gonna get it tied off. I got it tied off right here. The string goes down in through the weeds underneath the train bridge. So hopefully the dog food makes a difference. Crawfish, minnows, who knows? I've only got one trap, so I gotta kinda move it around until I find something. But obviously, running water, no. Tuna fish sandwich, big no. Dog food, we gotta find out if dog food's the ticket. We're gonna come back and check it just before dark. See if we got anything. All right, well it is obviously the next day. Decided to let that trap soak overnight. All the dog food. I brought Ella. Oh, there's the string. Mm-hmm. Want you to go over there, grab that and pull that trap up. Pull it up and see what we got. What do we got? Nothing. Nothing. Just a bunch of rocks. That's dog food. We got a whole lot of nothing. Yep. Now I know there's crawfish in here. I know there's minnows in here. I know there's bass in here. Not the bass are not going to fit in the hole in the trap. I get that. But there's a lot of minnows and small bluegill in here as well. Why are they not going in there? Was it just a bad spot? Do I got to put out another five or six different traps in different areas? Let me know down below. Why did I get nothing here? Nothing. Or do I just suck? Or they didn't like the $100 dog food. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. We caught some fish, set some traps. Nothing in the traps. Until next time, get outside and enjoy the outdoors. I'll see ya. So this is my very first attempt at trapping. Well, trapping, setting traps, call it what you want. Big F, big zero. You don't want to get me down. I think we're gonna come back bigger and stronger. Well, I don't want to get any bigger, but stronger would be bad. Anyway.